Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I just want to start this video off by saying if you find this video helpful, please sub to my channel. That will help me out massively. Or if you want to see some other videos like base designs, trap based videos or solo survival series. Yeah, just hit that sub button as I currently know that about 80% of my um, view time is from people who are not sub to my channel. So if you can hit that sub button, that will help me out massive. Right, let's get straight into this video. Cheers. Okay, welcome guys. Now, first off, I'm going to start off with the requirements of stuff you need to actually do this setup. So, I'll be doing this on an Android phone. Um, that's the only devices that I know how to do it on. Um, you'll also need a micro USB to USB adapter, which goes the micro USB goes into your phone, and then it creates a larger USB port for you for what you need next. And that is a wireless keyboard and mouse built in one um, they're very cheap very effective this one's really good because obviously it's got my mouse on the right hand side and W A S and D on this side so it's kind of like a controller as you can see they're really good and um, so you need them you also need a Nvidia graphics card uh, on your computer um, I don't know what the spec is I'll put down in the description it's a certain model and above that enables you to do this and I'll put that in the description down below Right, so what we'll do while we're on this camera, we'll quickly jump onto our phone. And uh, what we need to do is you need to go to the Play Store and you need to search for an app called Moonlight. Once you find Moonlight, it has a grey icon with like a white wheel on it. Install that and then we will come back to that in a minute. But we will quickly jump over to the PC. Okay, so once we're on the PC, you need to install nvidia geforce experience which i'll put a link down in the description below i already have it installed so i'll load that up when you load up geforce experience it finds all the games that are on your computer so hopefully rust will be on there so happy days but if rust isn't on there or this rust doesn't work don't worry i've got you covered i'll show you how to get around that it's not a problem i have seen it in the past so firstly we need to enable game stream which allows our devices to connect to our pc so we do that by clicking this gray settings icon in the top right hand corner then we scroll down to shield and then what we need to do is enable game stream by flicking this little toggle switch here and we turn that on now our devices can connect to our PC via Moonlight only on our local network at the minute. Then what we need to do after that is we need to add, um, it's called MSTSC. And what that does is it allows us when we're on our phone to load up our desktop. So if we have any problems with the game rust thing not working, what we can do is we can load up MSTSC and we can just load the rust shortcut on our desktop and then it definitely works then so we have no problems so to add this what you need to do is click add go to your C drive if that's where your Windows is installed which mine is I go to C drive Windows scroll down go to Windows uh, system 32 sorry system 32 and then you have to scroll quite far down in this one down to M and we are looking for MSTSC so we add that once that's in there we are good to go so what we do then is we go back to our phone and then what we do on the phone is we load up the moonlight app and it will find our computer as you can see it's found my PC but it's got a lock on it so I click my computer and it says pairing please enter the following pin on the target PC as you can see over here on my PC it has popped up, Shield is requesting to connect. So I pop in the pin there, so that'd be, da, da, da. Oh, hang on, sorry. There we 
go to 6878 and click connect. And there we go. Now it's showing all the games on my PC on my phone. So what I'm going to do now is, as you can see, Rust isn't showing up on there, funnily enough. That's quite handy for the tutorial. So what I'll do is we'll click MSTSC. And what this will do will load up my desktop. There we go. Once I've got my desktop loaded up, I need to enable my mouse and keyboard. So what I'll do is I'll get the micro USB USB adapter and plug that in. Then I will plug the Wi-Fi port for my mouse and keyboard into this and turn on my keyboard. There we go. And now, as you can see, I can now control my computer setup. So what I do now is I go up to the Rust shortcut and I double click that. It's now loading Rust. Okay, so Rust is now loaded. Um, I will go to play game, as you can see. Play game. And then I will go to any server. It doesn't really matter. Let's just go to this one. There we are, that's loaded up. Now I don't know if you can hear it, but obviously because I've got game stream on, the sound is actually coming out the phone like you would expect it to, and the sound is not coming out my PC. So there we go. So if I wake myself up, there we go. As you can see, I'm walking around. Now it is a little bit laggy, not gonna lie. Um, and this is even on my my net, local network. So uh, you can imagine over 4G, you're going to have lots of problems. Now, it's perfectly fine if you want to be the base bitch um, or you, you don't get to play much. So you want to get all your crafting done or you want to sort all your boxes out when you're at work on a break or something. It's perfect for stuff like that. It's absolutely perfect. As you can see, look, I can still use my mouse and keyboard if I wanted to, but I'm just using this. I've done this many a time when I'm at work. It works perfectly fine. You're not going to be able to go out and PvP on it, that's for sure. But it's just, you can log in, you can check you haven't been raided, um, you can just get bits done, so it is really handy. Um, so what we'll move on to now, now I've shown you how to do this, is how to open it up so you can do it on a 4G or... At your, at your works internet or something. So what we'll do is I'll quickly back out of this and then I'll come back when I'm back on the desktop. Okay, now we're back on my desktop. I'll show you how to connect to your PC when you're out and about, like at work or something. So what you need to do first is you need to load up a browser, um, go to Google and type my IP. Boom. And what Google will do is it will tell you your IP address, which is here. And you need to write that down because you're going to need to put that into the Moonlight app um, to connect. So what you do is copy that down. Then once you've got that, so you know how to find your computer on the Moonlight app when you're at work, um, you need to open some ports. Um, if you don't know how to open ports, um, there's a great website called portforward.com, which I'll put a link down in the description below. Um, it pretty much has every router you can think of and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to open certain ports. Um, if not, um, drop me a message. I'm sure I might be able to help you out. That's fine. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, it should be on here because every route is different. I can't exactly show you how to do it because my menus in my router will be different to yours. But what I'll do now is I'm going to show you what ports you need to forward. So if I minimize that, here we go. So once you um, find out how to open your ports, um, you need to do your TCP ports, which there's six of them there. I'm not going to read them out. Obviously, you can see them. I'll put them down in the description below as well. And your UDP ones are there. There's three of them. So make sure that they're open. Uh, once they're open, you're able to connect to your PC when you're at work or wherever you are, and it will work just as well. So there you go. 
Um, I hope that helps. Any problems, don't worry. Just drop me a message. I'll do my best to try and help you out. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoy it, man. I hope you uh, get some good use out of this, that you can waste some time at work getting things done in the game that you don't want to waste your time when you get on to play. You can literally go out and start PvPing or whatever you want to do. So yeah, hope it helps. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if this has helped you out. And um, yeah, I will catch you guys later.